to rest it away from in the men's study group, more men would be welcome. In the men's study group on Saturday at 8 30, uh, we talk about who is the ruler of this world? Who is the ruler of this world? According to the scriptures. Satan. Satan. Jesus came to wrest the world out of Satan's hands and give it to the church, to the kingdom of God. How do we do it? We do it by making sacrifices. We do it by realizing that it's not all about the worldly <coughs> standards, that we are members of a different citizenry. We are citizens of the body of Christ, of the church. And we live different principles. We're in the world, but we're not of the world. That's what we want to do. We do it by setting our priorities as a testimony to who we say we are already. Philippians chapter 4, Paul says, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. He didn't mean work out how to be saved. We already figured that part out. Jesus died on the cross and saved us. But what does it mean that we're saying work that out with fear and trembling? <laughs> how do I live a life that reflects who I say I am? We do it by setting our priorities. There's only 24 hours in a day when you're a Christian or a heathen. We do it by setting our priorities. Where do we serve? How do we give? What do we do? Or are we like the disciples and we didn't understand and we were afraid to ask? But you know what? I don't know about the rest of you. You can argue with me if you'd like, but I'm the greatest in here. No. I mean, you know, you argue about who's the greatest. That was a joke, by the way. Be honest. <laughs> um, we, 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 we make it a point of hyperbole. Uh, we, do we hear? Do we hear this at all? Are we kidding? It? Imagine what we'll know tomorrow. Imagine what we'll know tomorrow. Jesus teaches us that what it means to be the greatest in the kingdom, here and now is to serve, to practice a radical hospitality, to welcome those who have no way to benefit us. And we do it simply because Jesus first loved us, God first loved us. I, gotta admit, I think we're doing it pretty well in this church. This isn't a sermon to beat you up. This is a sermon to make you think. Look at what Phil does with the youth program and the kids in the community that come. Look what we do with Waikiki Wednesday. Look what we do with Vacation Bible School. Look what we do with the women's study group. Um, yeah, it's not technically all, all of ours, but we participate in that. Uh, men's study groups, things like that. Small groups that are needed. I think we do it pretty well. We can always do more. We can always welcome it. Practicing radical hospitality. Treating the new people who walk into our church like they're kings and queens. That's what we do. Those who have ears, let them hear the word.